Hello all, in this session we shall look into the fundamental rights of our Indian constitution. Fundamental rights, it is mentioned in part 3, articles covered are from 12 to 35. So fundamental rights as we have already discussed uh, in the sources of our Indian constitution, it is borrowed from US constitution. US constitution la fundamental rights are called as bill of rights. Fundamental rights are considered to be the Magna Carta of India. According to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, it is the most criticized, that is the most discussed part of the constitution. Fundamental rights are justifiable, which means if any of the fundamental rights are violated, we can move the court for the justification of our fundamental rights. Adhanalada, fundamental rights are justifiable. No? Original constitution, we have got seven fundamental rights. Right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, right to property, right to constitutional remedies. But current Iperikra constitution, we have got only six fundamental rights. Why so na? Right to property. This right to property has been removed or deleted through the 44th Amendment 1978. So, in the fundamental right, la in the right to property delete panni or remove panni, constitutional right ta mati vichitanga. So, this is the thing. So, in the, in the articles, in the, in the fundamental right in papu. Right to equality, article 14 la in the 18 varakum cover agu. Right to freedom, 19 to 22. Right against exploitation, 23 and 24. Right to freedom of religion, 25 to 28. Cultural and educational rights, 29 to 30. And right to constitutional remedies, 32. The state can impose restrictions on fundamental rights. So, fundamental rights are not absolute. They are qualified, which means... Some sort of restrictions on reasonable conditions can be imposed on the fundamental rights. That is why absolute career is qualified. Except the fundamental rights guaranteed under Article 20 and 21, remaining fundamental rights can be suspended during operation of national emergency. Very, very important. So, national emergency in the concept Article 352 mention. So, national emergency is in the rent article tavatta matta yellame suspend aayidu so except fundamental rights guaranteed under article 20 and 21 remaining get suspended during national emergency which is covered in article 352 article 19 in the article vandu automatic ave suspend aagum eppa na national emergency appa this is mentioned in article 358 so Article 358 directly mentioned panirpanga suspension of Article 19 during national emergency in Solita. So Adadainga Solranga that is declared on the grounds of war or external aggression and not on the grounds of armed rebellion. That is internal quarrel up to Article 19 Vandu remove agad, which means suspend agad. Only on grounds of war, that is or national emergency between the countries or war. Uh, or agitation irukna, at that time article 19 automatically suspend I don't so it article 358 la so please concentrate on what I am saying because I make sure that I utter the correct numbers so please have a look at it even though this thing is not clear for you okay now let us look into each one of the articles in detail so article 12 State or a definition could so article 12 and the water state ne clear are defined panirka. State includes the government and the parliament of India, the government and the state legislature that is government na in executive part, parliament of India, that is legislature of the central no? state government that is the state execution executive part, state or a legislature of each and every state to all local authorities municipal arkla panchayati raj and the madri in the local authorities so other statutory and non-statutory authorities statutory non-statutory already we have 
discussed the difference between these two. Statutory na one law kundu one body establish agatte. Non statutory na one executive resolution la andamadri one body establish achna the non statutory. So idhi yella thikume state andam peer. It's not only the state, okay? Idhi yella me state into definition kulla varu na Article Twelve solda. So the actions of the state can be challenged. In the mail, so na thala yeda chhu wunne in violation of the fundamental rights nadanda we as individual have the rights to move the court against these body. Adda inga sola patrka the actions of the state can be challenged in the courts as the violation of fundamental rights. First article that is Article Twelve pata chhu. Ipa Article Thirteen. All laws, all laws na ordinary laws, not about the constitutional amendment laws. So very very important. Article thirteen la all laws na sula patterko. That all laws include only the ordinary laws, and it does not include the constitutional amendment laws. Okay. So all laws that are inconsistent with or in derogation of any of the fundamental rights shall be void. Fundamental rights are violated. Pandra madre yenda ur lawa yirundalu. Adu vandu void. Eth kolla padadu. Next, this article expressively provides for the doctrine of judicial review. So in the ur article, explicit ave judicial review under concept naakku tarudu. Now let us look into the right to equality. Article fourteen lande eighteen variko right to equality cover agud. Article fourteen ina sorda na equality before law and equal protection of law. In the concept equality before law, we took it from UK. Equal protection of laws we took it from US. So equality before law idori a meaning ina na absence of any special privilege in favour of any person. So yenda ura special privilege or favour or yella ma yella arme samama nartar thoda equality before law. Equal protection of laws na equality of treatment under all circumstances. So, yella laws yu ore madri treat panartha for each and every person. That is equal protection of laws. Article 15 in a surdhana prohibition of discrimination on the grounds only of religion, race, caste, sex, or place of birth. Idhikka sila exceptions irikka. For example, Children and women can still have special provisions. Kudukala. Abdi kudutta adu vandu. It's you are violating the equality. Abdi in sola muri adu. Social economically backward sections ko still have exceptions. Which means you can give some special preferences to socially and economically backward sections. Adu vandu. It's against equality in sola muri adu. So idha lana exceptions. Schedule caste and tribes ko special provisions kudukala. And schedule tribes and caste. Even गलत कहाँ बंदे special provisions education लग गुड़कला education बंदे private educational institutions आवो ये रखला. So it's not only the state institutions or a private educational institutions or a or a private sector उन बंदे they can include the upliftment of schedule tribes and schedule caste. In the one feature, the last feature in the this was added by 93rd Amendment Act 2005. So, in the Amendment Act, the private educational institutions or private sector soon can be included in the upliftment of scheduled tribes or giving special privileges to the scheduled tribes and caste in the 93rd Amendment Act 2005. Article 16 says about the equality of opportunity in matters of public employment. इधर ना उरे exception रखा है इधर ना 16 sub clause 4 ला. It empowers the state to make special provisions for the reservation of appointment of post of any backward class of citizens. So any backward class of citizens का they can give some special provisions. Uh, in the name of giving employment, so इधर वो exception in Article 16. Article 17 इन्हें सुधरना abolition of untouchability and prohibition of its practice in any form. So इधर कागा उर law make पनागा that is untouchability offences act 
இது லேட்டரா சிவில் ரைட்ஸ் ஆக்ட் ஆஃப் நைன்டீன் மாறுச்சு so if you are violating this you will be penalized that is also for sure article 18 abolition of titles except military and economic so initially in independence time apa there were so many titles given by the britishers like tej bahadur and the madri different titles la vandu irukka koodadu because all are equal the titles given at those times you know it segregates people adanal the titles irukka koodadun solittu but and the title it does not come to the military odia or academic odia titles uh, is not you know applicable to that so only the military and academic titles either rendu me accepted and also the padma awards idella accepted but not the uh nomenclatures used during the british times so on the titles elame kodad next right to freedom 19 to 22 cover up article 19 idla six rights irukku in the six rights ume pathina article 19 la cover aagudhu and in the article 19 na automatically gets suspended during times of external war not internal war okay so on the rights and in the protections of six rights in the right to freedom of speech and expression speech and expression kulla we have so many divisions like press so right to freedom of speech and expression da varum writing your printing picture or any kind of opinion ellame right to freedom of speech and expression right to assemble peacefully and without arms right to form associations right to move freely throughout the territory of india right to reside and settle in any part of the territory of india right to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation trade or business ana ad illegal ah irukka koodadu right to acquire hold and dispose of property idu dhaan 44th amendment 1978 la delhi title constitutional right da uh, it has been placed so idellam dhaan rights under article 19 but ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம சொன்ன மாதிரி இதெல்லாம் அப்சல்யூட் கிடையாது இந்த எல்லா ஃப்ரீடம்லேயும் வந்து தே கேன் பி சம் ரீசனபிள் ரெஸ்ட்ரிக்ஷன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் த மேஜர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் டு பி நோட்டட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆர்டிகல் டுவெண்ட்டி ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் அண்ட் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் ஆஃப் கன்விக்ஷன் ஆன் அஃபென்சஸ் இது கீழே மூணு திங்ஸ் இருக்கு என்ன என்னன்னு பார்ப்போம் no ex post facto legislation no double jeopardy no self incrimination மூணு டேர்ம்ஸ்க்கும் என்ன மீனிங்னு பார்ப்போம் நோ எக்ஸ்போஸ் ஃபேக்டோ லெஜிஸ்லேஷன்னா த லா தட் அப்ளைஸ் டு கிரைம்ஸ் தட் ஹேப்பன் பிஃபோர் த லா வாஸ் பாஸ்ட் அந் ஒரு கிரைம் நடந்த அந்த நாளில் என்ன லா இருக்கோ அந்த லா மட்டும்தான் அந்த கிரைமுக்கு அப்ளிக்கபிள் ஸோ யூ கேனாட் ரெட்ரோஸ்பெக்ட் தட் இஸ் த மேஜர் திங் ஸோ எப்பயோ நடந்த ஒரு கிரைமுக்கு இப்போ புதுசாக ஒரு லா வந்திருக்கலாம் ஆனால் அந்த கிரைம் ஆல்ரெடி எப்பயோ நடந்திருக்கலாம் யூ கேனாட் இன்டர் கனெக்ட் டுடேஸ் லா ஃபார் த பாஸ்ட் கிரைம் ஸோ அதுதான் நோ எக்ஸ் போஸ்ட் ஃபேக்டோ லெஜிஸ்லேஷன் அந்த டேட்டில் ஒரு கிரைம் நடந்துச்சுன்னா அந்த டேட்டில் என்ன லா இருக்கோ அது மட்டும்தான் அப்ளிகபிள் ஸோ இதுதான் நோ எக்ஸ் போஸ்ட் ஃபேக்டோ லெஜிஸ்லேஷன் இருக்கக்கூடாது அதாச்சும் எக்ஸ் போஸ்ட் ஃபேக்டோ லெஜிஸ்லேஷன் இருக்கக்கூடாது நோ டபுள் ஜியோ பார்ட்டி single person single crime na single punishment da double punishment appadina kedaadu so no double jeopardy id article 20 of sub clause 2 la solirukku no self incrimination self incrimination na see if i made a crime i cannot be a witness against myself correct ah na marakka da paapen i will not be a witness against myself adha no self incrimination and no one can force me to be a witness against myself yaaru enna force um panna koodadu so it is not no self incrimination these are the three things mentioned in article 20 article 21 protection of life and personal liberty except in accordance with the procedures established in the law so protection of life and personal liberty this is also subjected to some uh, reasonable restrictions as per the law in the right to life or protection of life na no, it's not just physical life you know you should have a dignified life or a dignified life namakku vendum adu nammude right we have the right 
to live a dignified life in a decent environment in a healthy environment privacy is also a right under article 21 and free education up to 14 years idu mo article 21 e padi or right so dpsp article 45 la irundadha article 21 e la transfer pannanga 86th amendment 2002 la next article article 22 protection against arrest and detention in certain cases so rent type of detention paakalam one punitive detention in one preventive detention punitive na or punishable so under punitive detention na a crime has been made so and the punishment illana and the punishable person detain panni vekkaradhu so right to be informed of the grounds of arrest so and the person accused person avand you have to inform him why he or she has been arrested and he or she has the right to consult a legal practitioner lawyer avanga vandu paathu pesuradhukku they have the rights and produce before the magistrate within 24 hours and and the madri punitive detention la irukra person avandu 24 mani nerathukulla magistrate as we all know it magistrate la vandu oppadekkanum and in the 24 hours vandu it does not include the traveling time for example traveling time romba perusa irukku between the court and the person to take na and the traveling time vandu exclude panni 24 mani nerathukulla you have to submit that person into the court and preventive detention la vandu crime edu nadakkala but for future purpose ka ga you are preventing that person so most of preventive detention vandu terrorism based pani da irukum so future la endha oru baadhippu irukka koodadhu you prevent that person you detain that person so grounds of detention should be communicated provide an opportunity to make representation so maximum period for detention of a person under preventive detention pathinga moonu maasam punitive detention 24 hours ana inge moonu maasam next right against exploitation 23 and 24 article 23 enna solduna prohibition of traffic in human beings and forced labor so traffic is nothing but illegal utilization so men women children moonu periyume or illegal purpose kaga you cannot trade them or you cannot force them and make as a labor article 24 says prohibition of employment of children in factories below 14 years 14 years kulla irukra kuzhandhaiyala employment you should not employ them adha article 24 solranga right to freedom of religion 25 and 28 cover aagudhu article 25 what does it say all persons are equally entitled to freedom of conscience right to freely profess practice and propagate see you can we can profess namma vandu or religion or or philosophy eduthu you can preach others you can yourself practice and make others practice adha propagate seiyalam but forced conversions not applicable forced conversions irukka koodadhu article 26 enna solrudna freedom to manage religious affairs to establish and maintain institutions for religious and charitable purposes yes you can do it you can own and acquire movable immovable property so property or religious affairs kaga ninga vandu vaangalam vikkalam andha maari seiyalam so right to administer the property so wholly for religious purpose kaga you can maintain institution you can acquire the property there is no offense in that article 27 enna solna freedom for taxation for promotion of religion no person shall be compelled to pay taxes for the promotion and maintenance of any religion see taxation is not at all applicable okay ana fee structure nu one irukka and the fee structure patti inga pesala which means fee structure you can get it for example for maintaining the place you can impose a fee there is no uh, you know no offense in that ana in the religion or in the philosophy ninga profess panadathukaga you have to pay this amount to the government appdin solittu taxation irukka koodathu next article 28 freedom from attending religious instruction 
no religious instruction shall be provided in any educational institution wholly maintained out of state funds state funds that is government fund kondu mulukka mulukka or institution nadathapaduna and the institution la endha vidamana or religious instructions or guidelines so kudukka koodadu but there is also some exceptions let's see what is that any uh, educational institution established by trust or a trust mooliyama we have seen so many educational institutions they have the rights to go for religious instruction so this is the exception next comes cultural and educational rights 29 and 30 so article 29 in sultana right to conserve language script or culture so article 29 grants protection to both religious and linguistic minorities article 30 right of minorities to establish and administer educational institutions all minorities have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice next article 32 another very very important one right to constitutional remedies in the fundamental rights idu varaikku namma paathad enna okay but what if there is you know adha vandu enforce panna mudiyama pochuna avlo irundhu use illa if you don't have the right to enforce to get the justice of violating your fundamental right edho or fundamental right violate aagudhu adha tadukano i want to get the justice adukana vali irukka paakanum so adukana vali da in the constitutional remedies supreme court high court rendu perume writs issue pannalam so article 32 speaks about the writs issued by supreme court and article 226 speaks about the writs issued by high court so right to move supreme court for the enforcement of fundamental rights including the writs of enna enna different writs irukku nu paathina habeas corpus mandamus prohibition certiorari and covarento i repeat habeas corpus mandamus prohibition certiorari the spelling is c e r t i o r a r i and covarento article 39 uh, which provides the right to move article 39 359 sorry article 359 vandu in the article 32 on a constitutional remedies vandu national emergency emergency app suspend pannalam appdin solladu supreme court is the defender and guarantor of the fundamental rights so according to dr b r ambedkar this article 32 is the heart and soul of the indian constitution please make a note of it very very important which is the heart and soul of the indian constitution na it is article 32 ipa namba in the writs pathi paakalam habeas corpus adoda meaning enna na to produce the body <clears throat> so it's an order issued by the court to a person who has detained another person to produce the body of the latter before it so எந்த பர்சன் டீடெயில் ஆக பட்டிருக்காங்களோ அந்த பர்சனை கொண்டு வந்து நிறுத்தணும்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு ஆர்டர் பண்ணுறது தான் ஹேபியஸ் கார்பஸ் ஹென்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அகேன்ஸ்ட் ஆர்பிட்ரரி டிடென்ஷன் விச் மீன்ஸ் இன்டென்ஷனலாக சில பேர் யூனோ தே ஹைட் தெம் அந்த ஆர்பிட்ரரி இன்டென்ஷனல் டிடென்ஷன் இருக்கக்கூடாதுன்னு சொல்லிட்டு தான் இந்த ஹேபியஸ் கார்பஸ் வந்துச்சு அண்ட் திஸ் கேன் பி இஷ்யூட் டு ஒரு ப்ரைவேட் பர்சன் ஆர் பப்ளிக் அத்தாரிட்டிஸ் ரெண்டு பேர் கிட்டையும் வி கேன் இஷ்யூ த ஹேபியஸ் கார்பஸ் Next writ is mandamus. Mandamus adhoodi artham to command. So this is issued to a public official asking him to perform his official duties. To command na, I command you to perform your duty. Adhoodi artham meaning. And in the mandamus when the private, against a private person you cannot issue it. prohibition means to forbid so prohibition na issued by a higher court to a lower court to prevent the latter from exceeding its jurisdiction prohibition na you are stopping it so innore territory oriya jurisdiction adha vandu seize panadukulla you are prohibiting it well uh, short a solanum na um, innore area or innore territory oriya and ஜுடிஷியல் ஏரியா ஜுடிஷியல் கண்டென்ட்டை எடுத்துக்க விடாமல் ஸ்டாப் செய்யறது 
so that is prohibition issued by a high court or a high court low court ka issue panadhu to prevent the latter that is lower court vandu adodiya jurisdiction adodiya and the sutra sutra vattarathil irundhu exceed pannama it is just um, preventing it okay so that is the thing next is certiorari certiorari means to be certified or to be informed the thing is prohibition ku edhukku irukra oru difference enna na prohibition stop mattum na pannum high court vandu low court and jurisdiction eduthuka vidama stop pannum but certiorari stop pannadhu mattum illama it also gives the solution so we should by a higher court or lower court either to transfer one case yen kitta which means um high court kitta pass pannidunu or else you have to quash it so in the madri solution is certiorari la kudupanga and prohibition uh, this is applicable or this is issued only against judicial or quasi judicial authorities ana certiorari vandu issued against judicial or quasi judicial as well as administrative body avangalukku kudukalam so this is the difference between prohibition and certiorari next co warrant na by what authority so it is issued by a court to inquire into the legality of claim of a person to a public office so you know fraud in its mooliyama or a public office vandu kai pattruvaanga la adha tadkkathukaga na co warrant by what authority you are claiming the office nu solittu or writ issue pannuvaanga article 33 Parliament is empowered to abrogate the fundamental rights of members of armed forces. Army ले रख रहे होंगे, paramilitary forces, police forces, intelligence agencies इन द माध्यम ले रख रहे होंगे लोगों के fundamental rights से वंदे cancel पन अर्थ का Parliament वंदे अधिकार ले रखा। इतना Article thirty three ने सोचा कहाँ गए? Article thirty four वंदे provides for the restriction of the fundamental rights while martial law is in force। इधर अच्छा वो एक territory ला martial law vandu force la irukna appa fundamental rights vandu restrict aagapadum idu article 34 la mention aayirukku article 35 vandu parliament ku oru power kodukudu enna na to make law in order to give effect to certain fundamental rights so only parliament and not the state legislature please make a note of it parliament ku mattum da fundamental rights ke effect kudukra maadri make pandra uh, power irk state legislature cannot do any uh, cannot make any laws in order to give certain effect to the fundamental rights for example ku paakumona uh, article sorry parliament prescribes residence as a condition for certain employments under 16 of 4 nu paathom so in the madri sila modifications on the fundamental right effect kaga kudukkathu kudukkathu da and the power vandu parliament kitta da irukku so only parliament is empowered not the state legislature is empowered edhukku na to make laws why for na to give some effect to certain fundamental rights so far we have seen the fundamental rights 12 and 35 varaikum paathom ippo sila fundamental rights outside part 3 edachum iruka enna enna nu paapom yes we have got these rights which are outside the fundamental rights article 265 part 12 la irukku idu enna mention panadhuna no tax shall be levied or collected except by authority of law லா இல்லாம எந்த ஒரு டாக்ஸும் கலெக்ட் பண்ண முடியாது அப்படின்ற ஒரு ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட் இருக்கு அந்த ரைட் எதுல இருக்குன்னா ஆர்டிகல் 265 பார்ட் 12 ல இருக்கு ஆர்டிகல் 300A பார்ட் 12 சோ இன் ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம பார்த்தோம் ரைட் டு ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி ஒரு ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட் ஆ இருந்துச்சு அது அங்க இருந்து ரிமூவ் பண்ணி ஆர்டிகல் 300A பார்ட் 12 ல வந்து ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணிருக்காங்க as a constitutional right so this is also a right but it's outside the fundamental rights okay article 301 part 13 trade commerce and intercourse throughout the territory of india shall be free so it is free you can trade anywhere as you want apdindra oru right vandu article 301 part 13 la kuduthirukanga 
आर्टिकल 326 पार्ट 15 इलेक्शंस टू द लोकसभा एंड स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली शैल बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एडल्ट सफरेज दैट इज वोटिंग मूल्यमादा मक्कल वोटिंग मूल्यमादा लोकसभा स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इलेक्शंस இருக்கணும் அப்படினு சொல்லிட்டு आर्टिकल 326 पार्ट 15 ல கொடுத்திருக்காங்க ओके இது வரைக்கும் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட்ஸ்லாம் பார்த்தோம் இப்போ எக்ஸெப்ஷன்ஸ் டு ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட்ஸ் பார்ப்போம் சேவிங் ஆஃப் லாஸ் providing for acquisition of estates article 31a enna solutuna it has got five categories of laws irukku from being challenged and invalidated on the ground of contravention of fundamental rights adachu article 31a la anju category of laws irukku in the laws ellame vande you cannot challenge in the court that in the laws ella ennudeya fundamental rights violate panni irukku appdin solittu you cannot challenge so idala idanala da id exceptions nu solrom andha maari enna laws irukku nu pathina acquisition of estates and related rights by the state so state vandu estates acquire acquire, acquire panala uh, of a private person so or private person odi estate acquire panala but the thing is he compensates with something else so adanala poite you cannot you know uh, challenge and invalidate on the grounds of article 14 and 19 <coughs> equality ko against a irukku na you cannot enforce the court taking over the management of properties by the state amalgamation of corporations extinguishment or modification of rights of directors shareholders of corporation extinguishment or modification of mining leases in the laws ellame article 31a la kudukapatirukku idu ellame uh you know laws against some of the fundamental rights but which means again some of the fundamental rights in the sense especially article 14 and 19 that is right to equality and freedom to you know acquire the property move and the madri next one is validation of certain acts and regulations article 31b papo it saves acts and regulations in ninth schedule from being challenged ninth schedule la we have got some pile up of uh, laws irukku so ninth schedule la nariya laws vechirukanga and the laws are kudo we cannot move the court as all those laws are violating our fundamental right so ninth schedule la vechirukra laws la vandu fundamental rights are violate pannudhu nu solittu we cannot move the court so idhum or exception ir coelho case 2007 la vandu in the case la supreme court ruled that there could not be any blanket immunity from judicial review initially pathina 9th schedule la endha laws la which me vande you cannot question why you have kept why so and so has done appdi solli endha or question me 9th schedule la irukra laws ma illa vekka mudiyadhu supreme court but in the case ku appo ir coelho case 2007 ku appo supreme court ruled that no 9th schedule la irukra laws um judicial review ku utpattadhu da appdi solli oru judgment kondu vandanga next saving of laws giving effect to certain dpsp article 31c in the article 25th amendment 1971 la vanduchu so in the amendment moolama article 31c la ரெண்டு ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிபிஎஸ்பிக்கு எஃபெக்ட் கொடுத்தாங்க என்னென்னா ஆர்டிகல் தேர்ட்டி நைன் பி அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி நைன் சி ஸோ இது ரெண்டு டிபிஎஸ்பி ஆர்டிகல்ஸுமே ஒரு பிட் ஹையர் தென் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட்ஸ் அண்ட் செகண்ட் பார்ட் என்னென்னா இட்ஸ் நாட் சப்ஜெக்ட் டு ஜுடிஷியல் ரிவியூ ஸோ இது ரெண்டு கண்டிஷனுமே ஆர்டிகல் தேர்ட்டி ஒன் சியில் இருந்துச்சு ஓகே நைன்டீன் செவன்டி த்ரீ கேஷானந்த பாரதி கேஸில் இந்த செகண்ட் condition are not subjected to judicial review eduthutaanga ana in the first condition mattum they upheld it they accepted it so endha oru law va irundhalum all laws are included in the judicial review so judicial review ku utpatta da irukanum abdin solittu there was the final uh, judgment so article 39b and 39c vandu paathina fundamental rights avida ஒரு படி அஹெட் ஸோ அதனால தான் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட்ஸ் உடைய எக்ஸப்ஷன்ஸ்னு சொல்லிட்டு நம்ம இந்த த்ரீ கேட்டகரிஸா பார்த்தோம் ஸோ பிளீஸ் ஹாவ் அ லுக் அட் இட் அகெயின் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல் ஃபார் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட்ஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் மென்ஷன்ட் ஆல் த ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் 
எக்ஸப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ரைட்ஸ் எல்லாமே கவர் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் ப்ளீஸ் ரிப்பீட்டட்லி வாட்ச் இட் ஸோ தட் எந்த எந்த ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் ஷெட்யூல்ஸ் என்ன பார்ட்ஸ் என்ன இதெல்லாம் எக்ஸப்ஷன்ஸில் இருக்குன்னு நேச்சுரலி ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி இட் வில் கெட் டு யோர் மைண்ட் ப்ளீஸ் ஹாவ் அ ரிப்பீட்டட் லுக் அட் இட் அண்ட் எனி குவரிஸ் ப்ளீஸ் சஜஸ்ட் அண்ட் இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன் வில் கம் அப் வித் அனதர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக் இந்த பாலிட்டி சீரீஸ் தேங்க்யூ